What tempts you? Remember the last time that you were tempted to hit snooze just one more time in the morning? Or have you ever been tempted to skip just one workout? Or maybe you were tempted to not order a salad in favor of that juicy hamburger. Hi, I'm Pastor Vicki, digital pastor right here at Discover Church. And on Fridays, we take a look at living our faiths in the 168 hours of the week. And to make sure that you don't miss a video, just go ahead and click subscribe or follow to be alerted whenever a video is posted. Now, temptation is all around us every day. An interesting fact, temptation actually means testing. Now, here's an example. In Matthew's Gospel, in the fourth chapter, Jesus was tempted by Satan. And after Jesus was fasting from food for 40 days, and he was all alone in the wilderness, Satan shows up. And Satan tries to get Jesus to rebel against God. And each temptation that Satan, he would quote scripture and twist it just enough to tempt Jesus. And each time, Jesus quoted a different scripture knowing its truth. And we face temptation in our own lives. Whether it's not following through on a promise that we made to someone else or even to ourselves. Or it's the temptation to do something that isn't quite wrong, but it isn't truly right either. It seems right, but it isn't. And when you're tempted, just stop and ask God to show you the truth. And then follow what God tells you. Now, Satan will try and twist the truth for you, but it's when we listen to God first that we hear God's truth. So don't worry the next time that you face a temptation. Take a breath, say a prayer, and follow what God tells you. Trust that God is telling you the truth and ignore the lies of Satan. God's got your back, always. You have a great weekend, and we'll see you in worship.